can you tell me a little bit about sort of some of the main plants that you're using in this? I believe they're all sort of mentha uh, in the genus. Is that the genus or the species? Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that the genus mentha? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So a whole series of different plants within the mentha genus, different species that we've looked at that all have uh, unique sets of molecules, some the same, some different that can be deployed or utilized in different ways to help control weeds, whether it be in the soil or, or uh, you know, from a post-emergent side. Also look at uh, a series of different plants that may produce somewhat similar molecules in the same chemical family. So it's, if you're a chemist and you went to a lab and you found some activity in a molecule, you may synthesize a whole series of other similar molecules. Well, that's not really what we do. Right. We're looking for what's available to us from a natural side, from nature. So we sort of go to nature's cabinet, knowing that some of these plants, through their secondary metabolism, are going to make a lot of these molecules that are similar, and just start to sort of collect those, do some testing and see what's going to be effective or not effective. And can you talk a little bit about that collection process? Because you described it to me earlier as plant juice. So tell me a little bit about the plant juice. How are you getting it? How are you making it? And then what does it do when you spray it on plants? Well, juice in the sense of, you know, we're, the, the plants, uh, the extracts that we use tend to be mostly from steam. Right. So it's high, t high temperature extract. So it's not sort of chemically extracted. Uh, there are different molecules and things you could get doing those other processes, but that's not what, what we focus on. Uh, so once those things are extracted, it, it, they're also analyzed, so we have an idea of exactly what molecules are in there. Uh, from, that, from that point forward, then we start to build out what would we use to spray on the soil, on another plant, doing the early stage testing to see what is going to work, what's not going to work, what are ways that we can make it work better. And from there, we also do a, a much deeper dive into how is it working. Mm. And that's where we, we're not really binding to a specific site of action. It's not an enzymatic site or a physiological pathway that we're disrupting so much as that we're causing a lot of fluidity in the membranes. Okay. And membrane fluidity is not breaking the membrane, but it means that the membranes can leak. Right. And so something like a chloroplast that's leaking can cause a lot of problems in the plant similar to some of the herbicides that are used that target the chloroplast, or fluidity in the mitochondria, fluidity in some of the other parts of the plant cell are gonna cause the plant cell not to function terribly well. 